So basically, we've been given one year to get one robot to do eight tasks, none of which have been performed reliably by any robot ever. We got involved with this uh, challenge uh, because uh, it, it's, it's critical of trying to do disaster response and, and humanitarian assistance. There are eight other university members in our team across the United States and from Korea. And I said yes immediately because it's one of the projects that's probably going to change people's lives. The potential for robots to replace humans in disaster situations is really amazing. I, uh, I grew up here in New York and uh, I think people who are from here have very special appreciation for the job that first responders do. Because human lives are very valuable. It means a lot, I guess, that we're actually doing something that can be applicable to the real world and something that can actually change the world for the better. I've been amazed at seeing how people come with different ideas, different designs to solve the same problem. But it's also been really impressive and inspiring just to see how crazy and amazing all the teams are that have been involved in this challenge. So in this regard, win or lose, I feel very excited and very fortunate to be involved in this competition.